Hi friends, welcome to Aishu's DIY. This is the third necklace we are designing with the Bargain Beatbox subscription for the month of October. So I already uploaded two videos, um, two necklaces actually. One is this beautiful knotted and necklace with the garnets, the carnelian and the crystal and with absolutely zero metal uh, findings in this necklace it's very very subtle and very pretty even for the closure i just used one of the uh, crystal and it's a macrame so that's one necklace and there is one there is another one that's a big statement necklace but this is also going to be not so big not so small right in the middle so we are going to do crochet so i have pooled my resources from the um, uh, subscription box so this is how much i have after doing the second necklace and then um, so i have grouped six carnelian beads and two of these barrel beads six carnelian two of the barrel beads and two of these um, crystals as well in every group i have five groups of those and then i have pulled out these two uh, beads this is big hole spacer beads that we need at the end of the um, uh, necklace to finish it off and then we have a toggle clasp that is from my stash but these things are from the box and I have uh, separated these um, garnets um, so those garnets I have separated and this is also six and I have a uh, bronze um, leaf spacer bead for every set and i have four of these beads at the end to make it easy to go through this um, and then um, i pulled out my uh, ceylon this is regular ceylon not micro not the fine this is regular ceylon i pulled out a couple of colors this this and this so here this is this is the start of the show i believe for this necklace but when I have this neck, this color, this color, it just kind of goes with it, right? It's not prominent. But if I use this color, this, uh, this brings out the brown more, I believe. So I'm going to use this color is what I'm thinking. First, I thought I will go with this. Then I thought this. But that's the one that I'm going with. So whichever one you prefer, however you like your necklace to be, you can do that. As I said, this is regular seal on. First of all, I want to open this up. Okay. First, we will do the smaller circle and then we will do the outer circle. There's two strands in this necklace. The big beads are going to be in the outer layer and the small ones in the in inner layer. So, we need a, uh, a crochet hook. This is number 8.9 millimeter crochet hook. As you guys can see, that's what I have. And then uh, first of all, you need to thread in all your beads inside. Then only you can start macrame. -ing. So for example, um, I would take a paper, a scrap paper actually, and lay that down. Take my Ceylon cord. and take my GS Hyper Cement or bead stringing glue and just kind of uh, put some glue on this you can also use super true uh, super new glue that I heard very good things about that I don't have it so I'm just going to smother this with this so this is to stiffen our end so that we can easily thread our beads you can also use um, big eye needle or collapsible eye needle for this purpose but with seal on this is good enough I want this to try a little bit so that it, the ends become stiff and then we can start loading our beads ideally I would load all the beads first 
um so we can do each and every strand so one strand first and then we can continue doing the next strand so i will let this try and come back i would thread in all the beads now that our ends are stiff in and then i will come back hi friends i threaded all my beads it is about say i would say 10 inches so we need to make this 20 inches think about it so double the amount so the number of um, crochet uh, stitches or the chain stitch that we make in between each bead will determine a thing so i want to um, say um, leave about um, like say 10 inches or so just to be on the safer side um, yes at least 8 inches I would say okay and then take my crochet hook okay and then this is a slip stitch just go around it and go through the loop and then take it that's a slip stitch for you so I have plenty here about say 10 inches if you want you can um, reduce that let me just take this off and do it one more time go around right the tail is towards me put this through or you can just put this through and take it that's the slip stitch okay now I'm gonna chain at least four chains then I'm gonna drop a bead and then I'm gonna do see how I drop the bead and then I just do my chain as if there is nothing different that is one so we count two three we count um, um, the stitch we do with the bead I'm not counting after that I'm counting four and then drop another one so this is this chain is for the bead and then one and two three and four okay so this is the bun which is in the back of your neck so that's why we need a little bit of cord if you want to go ahead and do it and um, this is how I start and do my crochet there we go it's very easy yarn over turn the hook pull through yarn over turn the hook pull through yarn over turn the hook and pull through just like that four chains one two three four and then slide a bead down hold it yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through because um, this is seal on it's nice and stiff and it's very comfortable to do the um, crochet and you can see how good this is it's a very pretty um, I think it's gonna be a very pretty necklace drop that next one down so we are going for four uh, stitches in between a bead I really like the way it turns out to be but once we cross the bronze leaf then you can decide to reduce or so 
because uh, we have the outer layer too. Right. One, two, three, four. In crocheting, maintaining the um, tension is the one which is very important. But with this cord, I assure this is beginner friendly. I am not kidding. It is beginner friendly. See this one got a little bit loose. So just making sure I do this tight. So it sits nicely on top of that chain. The gemstone. The ruby. So drop the next one down. One, two, three, four. I did it with another cord that was like very subtle, like very soft and kind of like that. But I really like the Ceylon to work with. Um, one, two, three, four. So the size of the chain depends upon how tight you make and also what the hook that you use you can use a bigger hook if you use a bigger hook the chain stitch will be a little bit bigger <coughs> but since i was using this bead and the big ones i i thought of using the 0 0.8 millimeter crochet hook so here we have this is a bigger bead as you can see so now push that down, take the cord and you will have a bigger um, chain per se. Here we go. The same thing we do. Yarn over and pull through. So this is how it will be. Then one, see the, the chain is bigger. Right? One, two, three, and four. Now I have this, um, so secure this thing in a bowl or so. So whenever you pull it, just comes like this. Drop the next bead down and continue crocheting. So after this I said after this um, leaf bead if you want you can reduce the number of chain because this one section has yielded let's say yielded us about say 5 inches think about it so we will have only six one two three four five six so that means it will yield about say uh, four inches for a section so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine sections nine into four will be what somewhere around 36 inches that's very big so i'm going to reduce this this is will be in the back so let that be and then i will reduce the number of chain in between the beads so two one and two chain and then a bead So that should be good enough. One and two. Right? I like it. So two chains in between. When we come at the end, I have eight beads here. The rest is rest of the leaves are divided by six beads. And only in the last I had eight beads. So in the last I have eight beads. So that is going to be four 
chains in between and the rest of them are two chains in between so that's the pattern I'm going to follow one two drop the next one down one this is one and two the next one down one and two the next one one and two the next one one and two so now we know how much the suction will be so which is going to be what 2.5 inch so two two and a half inch um we have nine sections that will put us around 18 and uh, 22.5 um, inches um actually not nine so seven right seven into two which is 14 uh 14 uh, so 17.5 plus 8 inches which will put us around say 23 24 inch which is perfect in my opinion so i'll go ahead and continue doing this and i'll see you guys back once i'm done with all of these it's pretty easy and i i love it actually i even loved this uh, uh loved doing crochet with the soft cord but this cord i really like it a lot means a lot it's very beginner friendly and when whenever you are new to crochet or you are um, new to smaller hook this is the kind of cord you will be using it which will give you a peace of mind <laughs> I will put it that way okay I'll continue doing it and as you guys can see it looks very pretty I really like the outcome and it looks really pretty so here um, I have finished doing the entire one it's actually a long necklace which I'm really happy about so there is one um, tip that I want to tell you guys so here it is whenever I leave it and go I don't take the hook off what I do is I still have this cover with it so you can leave it here but it can come off so I put this back here so that kind of stops this from going out so I can just throw it in my purse and stuff like that and so that's a tip for you guys once you are done with this and I want you guys to snip off um, about say six inches or so and then just open this loop off and that way it will tighten automatically there will be a knot there so that's that um, so we have our first strand which we did now we will move on to the next one i will keep it aside and then i will start loading the beads for the next one so in one um one group we have this right so there for the next strand i have threaded my beads I know I had like a groups of six of the carnelians and two of this crystal beads and two of the barrel beads um, uh, in the first place but this is the pattern I liked so I have actually threaded in that and this is about say 14 inches worth of uh, beads I think with the um, 
chain stitch we will have more and at the start I added two of these beads uh, because at the end we are going to narrow it down so I'm going to add two more of the beads in the last uh, because we are going to connect with the small strand so I just want to taper this down so now I'm ready to again a uh, crochet so I will leave about say this much exactly the length I did for the other one yes and then I will do a slip stitch make a loop put in a uh, hook through and just that's a slip stitch we have right there and then so now we can start crocheting So if you take the slip stitch off it will go like that so you have to take the end of your cord in your fingers wrap it around and then put it inside and take the working cord here and if you pull this you will get a slip sorry I'll get a slip knot and now we are ready to chain so in the start I have added only four chains so I'll do the same here as well move my beads down a bit so that I have enough space to work with go ahead yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three and yarn over pull through four now you drop the bead down yarn over pull through there your bead is secure and again four chains one two three four there we go so I'm I'm pretty sure that um, the seal on cord is very nice so you don't the maintaining the tension in this um, project is pretty easy unlike any other cords that's what I feel um, so I'm really really uh, confident that this can be even done with the beginner so, so even if you're new to crochet and this um, this stitch should be a breeze so after the bead four stitches I don't know whether I did here four or not I mean it's easy to take it off too you just take the hook off and you do this okay that's it so now just making sure I should have the loop otherwise I have to start over there we go so that is one two and three and four chain stitch drop a bead and then do again chain one two three and uh, four stitch and then drop a bead and then from here on I have to follow a pattern um, how many stitches between that so in this strand the smaller strand what I did was I did um, four between each of them right four chain stitches and one stitch with the bead then four then one that's how I did uh, for the entire necklace so here also what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three that's what I'm thinking because this is smaller this bead is bigger so it'll occupy a long space probably three or two is what I'm thinking I would do I will just first do three and check it out how it goes if not I will take it and then redo it one that is two three 
and drop a bead gemstone is a bit bigger so go ahead yarn over and just see this if you pull this the chain will become bigger and then you can take it and then do it that way see that one I think two is enough. Drop the next bead down. Maybe three. Next bead down. Make this loop bigger. See this? Make it bigger and then pull the cord. So the chain will become bigger with a bigger bead. And then do one, two, and three. So you can see how it is coming, and this is how it will be. You can make this tighter, even. But this is how I will continue. Continue doing this fully and then i'll so come back. i have a couple of things to tell you guys i decided to go with four chains in between every bead and you can see how it sits right the thing is there is two ways to do it to do a tighter chain stitch irrespective of the bead size and to do a, a like a chain which is the length of the bead um, as i said when you do the bigger bead, you just pull this a little bit so that the chain is big enough to accommodate the um, bead, which is like this. And then, so then one, um, two, three, and four. And when I do tight, I'll let you guys know how it happens so you just pull this and then take this thing see this I take this and reduce this chain size once I get hold of it and then pull that see this one is a bigger chain this one is a smaller chain you guys can see that that's a bigger chain this one is a smaller chain the one behind this is small this is a longer so this will force the bead to sit like this so i i tried that but i didn't like the way it looked so i am just going to go ahead with the chain as big as the bead and then pulling the cord and also the barrel bead there is also a difference barrel bead you can you have to do because it's a um, it's in the barrel shape you will have to do um, the length of the bead itself so I don't want it way too loose so you just have to maintain that correct stiffness and trust me with the seal on it comes very easily so now the barrel beads so take this pull this up and then go ahead and yarn over and pull through so this chain will be almost as big as our barrel bead right here and then as usual continue with your stitches yarn over Pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then the next bead. Continue doing this this way. And then I'll see you guys back once I finish finished this. it. So now here is my hook. What I will do is, I'll take my scissors and cut say about this much and then just pull it off. 
that way it will tighten that knot so now we have our two strands ready all I want to do is keep these two together and these two together and see how long the length is so it's pretty much okay for me um, what I would do is um, maybe take this off and do couple more just plain a uh, chain and a knot to do I don't have enough um, thread to make a real difference so what I'm going to do here is maybe um, So the length is a little bit too much in my opinion but um, I think I can take this off this four four knots off then I can reduce this to this much that way I'll reduce a little bit that will be good to go. So I decided not to use the toggle class but because see this I have finished it this way I really like the way that I finished and lobster claw we don't even need a clasp for this necklace it's long enough to go on top of your head but still a clasp would be a nice finish so that's the reason I'm adding it so here is our two strands what I did was I took the crystal bead and I put both strands through it this is not the only way to finish this necklace. You can finish it in a couple of ways. You can just knot it to your uh, uh, knot both the ends together and just do that way. So I put both the strands together and then I added this bead. Then I had this big spacer bead in my stash which I'm using it to hide the knots. Not really hide the knots per se but that's the uh, whole sort intention in the first place but I really like the way it is finishing this necklace as well so now this is it so now take the jump ring I have a closed jump ring here I take the jump ring go through it and go through one more time right I just went through it and then went through one more time which is looping it around just like that So now I will just bring this down here. So there we go. I just went around one more time and then I took these two cords and I'm going to go through this uh, bicone shaped spacer bead once again down through that. One by one if you put it it's easier. Take a bead with a bigger uh, hole. Now pull everything tight. You have this now. So now it is easy for you to knot. Take this and hold it and do an overhand knot right over left and then tighten that. Then go through the loop twice. That's a certain start. Right over left. Go through the loop once. That's a regular overhand knot and go through the a loop twice that's a certain snot and then tighten that up make sure you tighten it nicely and I did couple more knots as well just to be on the safer side it's because I have the cord also available and it's not needed you can just put some glue and then call it a day but I want the knot to be shown a little bit so that's why I just go and flip that and do one more surgeon's knot right there and that's about it okay once you do all your knots take your GSI for cement um, drench those because it's very important that you put the glue on even inside the bead I put some glue to hold the initial knots drench it with it 
let it dry for 24 to 48 hours and then you can snip off the thread and your necklace is ready done so i am just going to cut this off not closer to the knot but just for the video purposes i will just cut it right here i still have to cut a little bit but this is how much it is left and there we go so i still have to cut this up close but that i will do after 48 hours and our necklace is done it is a very pretty necklace um i don't think so uh, i can show it up clearly how it looks but it looks very pretty so here we go So pretty it is. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. I do upload videos couple of times a week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.